Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'll be building a crazy thread ripper PC, which will be my first time. So I'm super excited. We'll be breaking down the different types of AMD CPUs, showing exactly how a thread ripper build is completely different from your regular desktop setup. And of course, walking you through every step as we assemble this absolute monster together. So let's get started with the CPU. This is the AMD Threadripper 9980X. 64 cores, 128 threads, 5.1 gigahertz boost, PCIe 5.0 lanes, and quad channel DDR5 and more horsepower than some actual cars, which is fitting because today we're putting it inside a Lamborghini. I mean, you know, a Lamborghini PC case, but you get it. And this PC is actually for Mo. I am upgrading his very, very sad PC at his desk to this one. But first, I gotta tame this beast. Ow! I'm so sorry I did that. This isn't just a PC, it's basically a supercar for computing. And like a Lamborghini, it's over-engined, extremely fast, and probably way more than any person needs, actually. Except if you're Mo, of course. He's so extra, by the way. Specs for today is going to be the PNY RTX 5090 Epic X, AMD Threadripper 9980X, Be Quiet Dark Power 1600 Watt, ASUS TRX50 Sage Wi-Fi, Crucial 1TB T705, 4 sticks of G-Skill 32GB DDR5, Silverstone 360mm AIO, plus the case is Lian Li 011 EVO and Lian Li wireless fans. So after you saw all the parts, now I want to talk about AMD CPUs. So AMD's got three main CPU families. Say hi to um, Feline. <laughs> so we got Ryzen for everyday gaming and content creation. This is the one that we usually use all the time. And then we got Threadripper for serious workstations, which is what we're going to be using today. And Epic for servers that power corporations which I don't really have on me today, so here's a picture. And Threadripper is the middle child, except the middle child can bench press your mom. Hee <laughs> hee. Now installing one isn't like your regular CPUs, you don't just drop it in and close it. You align it perfectly, lock it in with your torque wrench, and always be super gentle with it. So over here, you can see it literally tells us how to open it and how to close it. Open three, two, and one, close. One, two, and three. It's pretty simple. Then obviously you slide in your CPU. Plus the CPU comes with a torque wrench, so you don't have to worry about it. It's literally like fitting the engine block into a race car. If you mess it up, the whole build is done before it starts. And there goes your college funds. And over here, I just really wanted to show you the difference between a Ryzen and a Threadripper CPU real quick. I'm joking. So Threadrippers are super hot, like mini space heater hot. So you definitely need a cooler that means business, which is why we're going with the beauty here. These aren't like your regular AIOs. These are made for Threadrippers, as you see.
exactly what happens by the end of the whole PC build. You just start throwing things. You don't care. <laughs> It's finally time to add the motherboard in after I added the Lian Lee fans and they are both reversed by the way. This one is just LCD Lian Lee reversed and this is regular reverse fans. Cat says hi by the way. So what I usually do is I use an electric screwdriver, I think I already mentioned this to you guys, but I finish off the screws and tightening them with the regular screwdriver. I just feel like it makes it a lot faster and easier that way. I know lots of you are going to ask, so on a side note, Threadrippers are for those who want to make money by working with AI, video editing, 3D rendering, animation, scientific simulations, or engineer software, or other applications that are CPU focused. In this situation, Mo wants to work with AI and needs workstation performance you just can't get from regular hardware. So there it is folks, the Threadripper 9980X Lamborghini Edition. A workstation PC and 100% over the top, only for Mo. I really hope he likes it because if he doesn't, I will literally take it back. Anyways, thank you so much AMD for sending in the CPU and thank you everyone else for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed building it. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye! List I O. Music licensing reimagined. Artlist.io oh.